Hey everybody, Rory from ANS Gear. We're gonna look at a kind of a different gun today. This is the Inspire BFG V2 EBR. So the EBR, the extended battle rifle, if that's what they mean it to call, I mean, that's what you would normally call the EBR. Um, and it's based off of their Inspire BFG platform. It's version two, so the second version out, um, they addressed some issues that they had and released a different version. Um, so we'll open up the gun and kind of look at the gun. It's a spool valve setup right here. Operates between 170 and 190 PSI. It's got a couple different firing modes, but it's got a slew of accessories that come with it. So here's your manual right here. Pull out our gun. You can see that with your gun, you're gonna get some O-rings and extra detents, an extra jumper so that you can set it in uh, semi-auto only, Allen keys, We've got our feed neck adapter, barrel plug that you really can't use, they pull out these rails, this foreguard and this other rail, and then the other stuff that's underneath here. Our foregrip, we'll move that to the side in just a second. Move everything over here. Okay, it comes with a sight, and it comes with a stock. So let me get the box out of the way. kind of do a quick little mock-up of this gun. So um, start with the gun itself, uh, 170, 190 PSI spool valve style gun. Regulator is adjusted through the bottom right here. Selector switch is on the side. We've got semi-auto, burst, and full auto. I believe uh, the burst mode is four balls um, for every pull up into four, or uh, yeah, four per pull at four balls a second. As soon as you switch over to five balls per second or faster, it shoots, shoots in a turbo mode at 15 per second. Um, and then the full auto is 15 per second full auto. Uh, cap right here, take the two screws off the cap. Cap pops off the back. That's where your nine volt battery is going to go inside here, as well as your stock would mount directly onto the back too. So your battery is gonna go in there and the stock will fit on there as well. Move everybody into the picture here. Uh, on the top side, Feed neck adapter is going to screw on right there, just like that. Clamps on the bottom, clamps on the top, so you can snap it down, make it super tight. Load everything in there. Take that off. Um, you've got this gigantic rail system right here, which is going to mount up to the front right here after you've threaded it all in. So it's going to give you that extended battle rifle look on there. It is aluminum, so it's definitely of a high quality construction. You got rails all over it, so plenty of mounting options to set stuff up on there. So along with that, you're gonna get these two rails. Now these are just riser rails. So if we wanna put one on the top here, you can make whatever you're sitting on the back of the gun sit up a little bit higher. Or you can use this little one. You could put it on the front here if you wanted to. You could put it on the sides. Anywhere you wanna stick an extra riser mount, um, you can do that with these two pieces. This is an offset mount, 45 offset mount. So if we want to stick whatever we're putting on the gun off the side, we can put it back here, put it off the side. You can put it up on the front and have it go off the side. So that's up to you. I like this piece included inside there. That's cool. We've got a, uh, a sight right here. This is not a scope. It is a sight. So it's just a red dot sight, red and green. You mount it up on here or mount it on that, uh, that offset piece right there, 30 mil. Um, but it is not a scope. It does not magnify your view or bring anything closer to you. It is just a red or green dot sight. Um, and then last thing, my favorite part, is this foregrip right here. So not only is it a normal foregrip, but it's also a bipod. Um, it's one of the spring-loaded bipods. There's a button you push right here. Pops out just like that. And now you've got yourself a bipod. When you're done, you don't want to use it as a bipod. Close it together, slide it back up in and you've now you just got your normal foregrip. Pretty cool little bipod. I really like these things. If I was playing with that, I'd wanna have one of those on there. So this is your Inspire BFG version two EBR rifle. Comes with all the accessories you see here. Uh, it's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.